What's up, everybody? Bad Gamer popping back in, and it is time for Game Tography, the show where we take games and tography and we smush them together and we make this stuff. It looks a little like this uh, palmetto cheese spread. Oh, it's so good. Uh, welcome, welcome, welcome to another episode. Episode number 76. What? What? And if you're watching on YouTube, welcome for the first time, or I welcome back. Um, 76. I know there are not 76 episodes up on YouTube. That's because we started life as a on another channel, and we've bro we broke away, and we're growing, and loving, and all the stuff. And we're not playing Warframe. <laughs> this is a talk show. Although we sh we could play some Warframe. <laughs> I want to welcome to the show back one of our co-hosts. We haven't heard from her in just a little bit. What up, Lady Snipeshot? It's Rachel, everybody. Hey, what's up? You're you're not allowed to play Warframe no. today. No, well, you mean on stream, <laughs> on stream. <laughs> yes. Um, yes. <laughs> and guys. <laughs> We're so excited. It has literally been months, almost probably a year, since she's graced our doorstep. The one, the only, the incomparable Maggie Rose. What's up, girl? Hey, <laughs> so glad to be back. Thank you for inviting uh, me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, for those of you who don't know, Maggie is an old-time gametography show friend, personal friend. Oh, uh, we met ages ago. I fell in love with her art and uh, started uh, stalking her. Um, and <laughs> <laughs> okay, not stalking, but I was a—I'm a huge fan of her work. Um, and uh, we got to know each other and great gamer wonderful artist i'll we're gonna get to her story in just a little bit uh but first off guests go first how was your week what happened did what games did you play things of note that you want to share hmm week's been good i have kind of been on like a nostalgia gaming kick i pulled out dusted off my old ps2 did not work at yeah. all, even close. So <laughs> I ended up just buying a new one. I found one online for like 70 bucks. I still had all the cords, the controllers, whatever. So I just bought the console and it's been really fun. I mean, I made the mistake of buying it like right as I had a busy work week and it was just one of those things of like, okay, I, I, I have to leave for work now. Like I can't, not one more mission, not, no, I gotta leave right now. So it's been really fun. I just, it's so fun to go back to these games that, you know, changed your life and you were younger and you just remember hours and hours of playing these, these games and you jump back in and you're like, wow, this, this is what was capturing my attention for <laughs> a whole weekend. It's, it's pretty amazing, but I don't know. It's just fun to kind of get back in tune with yourself at that age. Right. Oh my goodness. Mm -hmm. Rach, what you been up to? <laughs> what yes, been adult. Up to? Uh, <laughs> yeah, big adult girl. <laughs> big, big adulting. Uh, we got moved into our house, and we've just been trying to get unpacked and trying to get settled. And we still like have so much to do. We've been doing yard work. We sound like old people now, <laughs> but. That's great. We got our your words. lawnmower and our your words. Our... <laughs> I know. I know. It's so bad. Um, but we're we're loving it though. We love the area that we live in now. Nice. Um, it's a quite quiet, charming little rural area. I thought something ran across the yard a few minutes ago. Um, you guys should have heard I didn't her. Know what it was, but I guess, it was, I guess she it was lives nothing. out in the boonies. You boonies. swear. It, you would swear to have been like the Jersey Devil or Chupacabra or Mothman or something. <laughs> what is that? I don't know. It looks big and gray. <laughs> well, oh, yeah. We, we do live out in the country now, but um, 
it's just been it's been a lot of fun you know and it's it's weird that i keep like saying that it's ours because we've never had a house that was ours before we've always you know either rented or lived in you know with parents or you know friends as roommates or stuff right. like that and it's this is this is ours it's kind of cool <laughs> like, yeah. so proud of you yeah seriously so. but, uh, <laughs> thank you thank you we're we're happy all right so what what were you what what were you doing last night because this is something that i didn't know that you did or i didn't remember that you did because you weren't gaming last night. I was on a Warframe. I didn't see you. <laughs> yeah. Who, me? What yeah. was I doing? I was painting yeah, last night. Yeah, you were. Whoa. What do you yeah, make? We, Where are the pictures? Well, well I'll, I'll have to send you some pictures. I, Please. I, like, my friend actually, for this for this one, I'm starting to get into painting. Like, we went to uh, one of the, those um, places where you paint and you drink wine is oh, yeah, weird. Yeah. Mm -hmm, one mm -hmm. of those things and, oh and yeah that got me through college <laughs> yep, i know exactly well, we went for a bachelorette party um to do that and um since then i've been like really you know like enjoying painting and i've just kind of been dabbling a little bit um no, no pun intended there <laughs> um <laughs> uh. <laughs> um but anyway my friend's husband he got her this paint by number thing this little canvas and all of these dots like there were so many tiny 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 like pin sized dots and stuff and she's like will you guys help me <laughs> so, she didn't want to do it all by herself because it it's been it's been a challenge but um so we've been working on that canvas for her but we're gonna be like trying to um, paint some more, you know, things that aren't like paint by number. Um, mm -hmm. But um, just kind of, we're all three getting into it and stuff. So we're, we're just having fun. But um, last night, while we were doing that, all of our, our men were, they turned our living room into a command center. We had three TVs, three PlayStations, all of our wow. chairs. They all had headphones and they were just playing Apex. <laughs> <laughs> it, was, it was quite funny. Oh, that's yeah. awesome. Yeah, that is epic. But that's what, you know, that's the dream with your own house. Just have all your buddies over for game night, mm -hmm. art night. Yeah, that's the dream. Absolutely. Absolutely. So, but it's been good. It's been really Sweet. good. Uh, so mm -hmm. this week has been, it, it's been a learning experience at work. Uh, not a bad, and not necessarily a bad one, but it's just it's been different, you know. Um, I've, I, I've I've stepped it up, and I'm a big boy, um, and we, I'm working on some stuff that I can't say right now, but let me mm. tell you, it is <laughs> melding my worlds together. I'm just saying. <laughs> nice. Yes. So, yeah. Yeah, I'm so excited. Ah! I can I haven't even Here's the thing. <laughs> I haven't even told Rachel outside of like live stuff. And Rachel Wow. Here's the thing. I haven't told I haven't told Syrup outside of live stuff yet. And you guys know how tight we are. <laughs> so, that's how that's how much oh, on the download okay. this is. <laughs> so I, I nice. really wow. I really hope it comes to pass and then I can shout it and tell you guys but oh I'm so excited for it hope it works um, my big boy <laughs> pants are on right now <laughs> um, but other than that uh, we I did some video production for our, our president um, not the U.S. president, but <laughs> it's like, wow. yeah, like that's not small. Yeah. <laughs> the company, <laughs> it's like whatever. this guy, <laughs> this guy called up and he says, "I really want you to come out and do this thing. It's gonna be huge." Uh, that's that my impression. impression. It sucks. <laughs> <laughs> that's it. I don't. I don't. I don't. I don't, I don't listen enough. Um, 
<laughs> but uh, yeah, so but as far as gaming goes, um, I played a, I played a, a, this game. I don't know if you guys have heard of it. It's called Warframe, um, and hmm. it's uh, it involves <laughs> space ninjas. Uh, so and not ninjas in space, space ninjas. So I mean, it's it's really a, that's Warframe. Yeah. <laughs> Warframe too. <laughs> so yeah. So and uh, what else did I play? Um, I played a little bit of Overwatch before I got frustrated and shut it off, uh, which is so weird for me to say. <laughs> but I think I got I get frust I got frustrated with it, turned it off because I had something else to play, and I ha I pl have plenty to play. Um, I have uh, new this week. Uh, by the way, I want to say, I, we forgot to acknowledge everybody in the chat that's hanging out. I'm sorry, you guys. Uh, first off, Knights at Kendall's. What the what, girl? Kendall, with the sub coming in three months in a row. That's, that's my girl right there. Um, uh, also, Tanti's here. Kadeem is here. Uh, sorry, I just wanted to, I, I forgot to acknowledge you, and then you did that, Kendall. Love you, sis. Um, but uh, thanks for joining us. Uh, but I I have uh, infamous la last light. Uh, I think it was it was either Rust or DP that put in the Discord this week. Hey, uh, infamous last light's only eight bucks or six bucks or something like that, six or eight bucks. And I was like, oh, well, there goes my lunch money. <laughs> so I didn't eat lunch that day uh, because I, I got last light um, and then I don't know if it was last week or maybe it was last week uh, but I got uh, I did the thing you're not supposed to do but I bought a game you're only vaguely interested in because it has a photo mm -hmm. mode and I, and I yeah. own Days Gone. <laughs> All right, there you go. Um, who needs food when you get a game? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, and then I was shopping at Target. My daughter needed to go there and get some makeup stuff, and I needed to pick up a prescription. And while we were waiting for the prescription to be filled, she went to go do the makeup thing, and I went to electronics. And I bought the game that we're playing right now, and I already have it for the Switch, but I needed it to look really good and be easier for me to get the images off of it. Starlink Battle for Atlas. I am par for the course. I am 30 seconds into the game, and I stopped to do photos. <laughs> uh, and which is I'm okay with because I know what's happening. This, and I think that the photo mode on on PS4 might be different than what it is on uh, Switch because I didn't know that I had all these other options. So like focus, focus distance, different overlays, uh, the temperature, all that good stuff. So tense vignettes, borders, all of the, all of the things. So there we go, you guys. And just so you know, if you don't have this game, you can start. You can stop this. I can start the game back up, and it will keep your settings. So we'll do a we'll do a photo. Uh, uh, we'll do a photo mode review of Starlink at some point. Um, all right. It's, oh, checking that chat. It's true though. I'm British. I can survive on tea. I don't need food. <laughs> tea and politeness. <laughs> and complaining about cues can keep me going for at least a week. <laughs> uh, my British sis. All right. Um, so, update on the gallery. Um, I will be popping over and calling the two locations today to find out uh, when we'll be going back up. I, I still have everything printed. Um, we'll be... We'll be getting back into selection as uh, a month and a half, at, well, a month after they go up. So just to keep you updated on that, I still want to I want to thank all our patrons. Um, 
just remember if you are a patron and you can uh here we go i'll do this patreon uh if you are a patron which many of you oh i forgot to do that can you spell taunty can you put that in there it's thank you kendall <laughs> uh uh, you can uh, support us right there, put a dollar in the tip bucket, and you get a uh, many, uh, you get things for your screens. All of your screens. And all of the things. <laughs> That's my girl. Um, so, check it out. And I want to thank all the patrons. Thank you so much. You make this possible. And you also make possible us giving away a, a PC game every month to, uh, to one of our patrons um, and even if you have the game uh, and I'm not going to say uh, we, we gave a, we gave away a game this week uh, this week to one of our patrons and they were able to give that uh, give that to the uh, their community because they had they had it already you can still do that that's awesome love it love it love it thank you um, so I uh, game talking for the week uh, space sh underscore Shinobi on Twitter. Space underscore Shinobi on Twitter. I believe they are Space Spider Man. If you look at their their regular name, um, I found them doing the uh, doing the exercise th this week on uh, owning your average, um, and just searching out people that are awesome at what they do. So. Go check them out. Space underscore Shinobi. Um, they also inspired me to move away from my standard of uh, the close-ups. I've been doing. I've been doing a lot of just close-up for uh, photography for a long time, and I've moved to. Uh, I've moved to looking at wide, wide stuff, wide shots. All right, enough about me and talkity talk talk because Rach has a hard stop today, you guys. Uh, there you go, Shinobi Space. Is it is it Shinobi Space? Hold on, let's look. Yes, Shinobi Space. Thank you. You're the best, sis. Good on the correction. <laughs> Oh, freaking Kendall. <laughs> uh, uh, yeah, so there it is. Um, let's talk. We're here to talk w w with, uh, with our friend Mags about her career in this gaming thing. She's not developing games? Because she has a, what I consider to be a cooler talent. <laughs> She's an <Absolutely>. amazing <laughs> artist, you guys. Uh, and I want to talk to her about that. So let's let's get talking. What, describe to us what you do. Uh, let's see. I'm kind of all over the place I guess <laughs> with um, uh, what I've kind of been doing for work and all that but uh, I would say I, I started out pretty small just like grabbing up any internship I could I mean working for free for a while and just trying to like meet people get my foot in the door all of that just trying to get you know my name my info out there um, so then I started working as a colorist at Playmatics, which is in Brooklyn. Brooklyn! Uh, in York, and Brooklyn I, in the house! I live out in Jersey City, yeah. Sorry, What's up, Brooklyn? I used to live there. Took me, like, two hours to get there. <laughs> Still okay. <laughs> um, so I was working as a colorist, which just basically means I was, like, editing their already pre-made illustrations and artwork for what they were producing. Uh, so I learned a lot doing that. It wasn't really something I had gone to school for and, you know, whenever you're in a job interview and they're like, can you do this? You just say it. <laughs> so I'm going to learn on the go. 
Fake it till you make it. <laughs> yeah, like, why would I say no? I'm like, sure. I know what color it is. Let's do it. <laughs> uh, so, um, after working there for a while, we were just working on, like, more mobile games. And then we kind of started moving over to educational games like for kids like we did like an alphabet frogs game and kind of like a math game in a restaurant alphabet so frogs. that was fun always having yeah <laughs> nice <laughs> alphabet frogs was fun because that was when i really started working from home instead of having to go into the studio all nice. the time and i remember one day finding myself drawing these cute happy frogs with letters and happy sunshine and I was watching like a really gory murder documentary <laughs> <laughs> I, was <working> on this. <laughs> I was like wait this maybe I should be watching something a little lighter so I'm not thinking about murder while I'm drawing these cute frogs for kids <laughs> frog ends up with a chainsaw <laughs> um, that, yeah That's so I don't know <laughs> I haven't read any reviews of the game where people are like there's something underlyingly evil about this this game what is it <laughs> so we'll see <laughs> if anyone picks up on it um but yeah after that i kind of started moving more out of like digital artwork and back into traditional which i really enjoy uh it's just more hands-on and i like having a physical piece you know because there's always the original right. it's not like i make an i make a piece on my tablet and then print it a hundred times it's like this is the one one piece uh so i kind of started going back into that um but recently i did an internship at rockstar because they're here in, in new york city <laughs> so i was working with them a little bit like it was really fun i learned a lot but oh my god it was so scary and stressful it was just like i don't know every minute i was only there for like two months but still i was like this is really really scary and i don't know if i'm ready for this but I learned a lot, and I'm going to use that to be applying at probably smaller studios instead. But we'll see. We'll see. So right now, uh, I haven't been working on any uh, game projects just yet. Kind of have my feelers out there. I had to take a little time off for life right. stuff. Like, I moved, and I got engaged, ah! and I'm just kind of, like, working on stuff like that instead of... Uh, um, focusing on career stuff so I'm doing a few more local things now since I uh, am a little bit more busy with life things I started like teaching <sighs> classes like digital illustration and kind of helping local kids um, who want to get into the gaming industry like helping them with their portfolios teaching them about stuff and you know really telling them Stuff, stuff that I would have wished I would have been told when I was that age and applying for colleges and trying to get jobs and really figure out what is the path I want to take. So I've been more kind of doing community outreach and like helping the next generation. Ooh. But we'll see. You know, if something comes back my way, I'm definitely going to jump in. Okay. We, we, we need to, we need to yeah. discuss, you know, on, on online classes. Like uh huh. We, we, yeah, we, definitely. Online classes. Yeah, can, we, can we have an adult class? <laughs> Just saying. We need to talk about this. <laughs> this, is a, this is... Yes, absolutely. All right, community, community. Let's bring this together. Let's support. <laughs> Yeah, we'll just do those paint nights that Rachel's so fond of. Just over yes. Three. Oh my gosh! Stop it! You're making me oh, dream. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. All right. Back. Back to it. So. All right. So this is what you've been up to. Now, I kind of want to, because we have, we do have a limited time. I want to. Mm -hmm. I, I want to go back and a little bit further into your history let's say i don't know what's your what's your earliest recollection of, of life, life? Um, <laughs> huh. what's my earliest memory uh, I, it's probably just a little snippet of me running through my grandmother's yeah. house like down the what hall. was that like what, <laughs> super talk interesting talk to me about running down um i was very very fast when i was a child <laughs> <laughs> and i was crushing it i owned that hallway 
<laughs> oh my gosh. Uh, all right. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm digging it. Hold on one second. Kendall says, mine is, mine is having a bath in the kitchen sink because I tried to eat the tap. <laughs> uh. <laughs> uh, all right. So at that point, you're running down the hallway. You're booking it. I mean, you're like the Flash. Uh, is drawing and art and painting, is that in your brain at all at that point? I mean, I think every little kid that I've ever met is obsessed with drawing, obsessed with art. Every kid I've ever met, between the ages of maybe like three to ten, like they just love drawing. They just, you just put paper in front of them, crayons, and they are set for mm -hmm. forever. They just want to draw and draw and draw. I think because they just have such an imagination and they're learning everything that's happening around them. So it's not just like, oh, I'm drawing dragons and my I'm drawing my fantasy world. It's like, no, I'm drawing, here's dad and mom and here's our house. Like, this is what I see and this is what's happening in my life. So I think every kid kind of needs to be an artist at a young age. But then once we hit junior high and high school or even, you know, and elementary school, you get in your head like, what am I good at and what am I not good at? Mm. And some people go sports, some people go science, some people go art, and it's just too bad that we kind of lose that sense of needing to always document everything that's happening to us and to use art not just as like an outlet but as a mm -hmm. tool to express yourself and a tool to get your your thoughts across i think that's why it's so popular with kids because they maybe don't have the words to express what they want to say or what's happening so they just draw it they're like this is what i see this is what's happening um but for me i was definitely not one of those people who is just born with that artistic skill no Seriously. way not even close was i like that no mm -mm, not even and i know people who are and i've will forever be jealous of them. <laughs> <laughs> but I that just was not me no I did not have that skill I mean even like junior high high school like oh my oh man I look back on my stuff and I'm like a child drew this I, there was no way but I think just like anything you know you practice and you observe and you learn and you try and do a little bit of everything you know and that's what really helped me get better and learn was just to study artwork that I really enjoyed. You know, sometimes you go to a museum and you see these beautiful, big, realistic, amazing paintings. And there's almost a disconnect. Just you're like, yeah, it's amazing art. Okay, next. But once I really started thinking, no, this was a human who created this. This person had to take a bathroom break right in the middle of this. <laughs> they had to erase and start over. Like, it was a human who made this, and they had to start somewhere. So I have to start somewhere, too. And that really helped me get into the right mindset of, you know, if this person could be a child with no skill and get to this level, like, so can mm. I. That, that, so that really helped me That a lot. reminds me mm -hmm. of one of my favorite quotes from Harry Potter uh, you know every mm. great wizard started ex right where we are if they did it why can't we mm -hmm. uh, uh, oh chills oh Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> All right. yeah. um, you, you've inspired me I'm going to learn how to draw things um, I mean other oh, than good, stick good. people I'll send you <laughs> I'll just make you fun pictures and send them to you and you can color them. <laughs> I like that idea too. <laughs> yeah, yes. <laughs> That's always good. For a while, my go-to like birthday gift and Christmas present for friends was just to make them like a coloring book of their favorite oh stuff. Oh my gosh. That's pretty popular. Maybe I should get oh, back into that. It's I... fun. Yeah. Oh, you're going to make me spend so much money on you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, by the way, I don't know if you guys can see it, but the uh, infamous second son picture in the background here that is a mags original that she gave me for my birthday uh two years ago three years ago mm -hmm. yeah i think yeah. two yeah that's crazy uh <laughs> dot pones in here by the way guys stay tuned instead 
Hey. Stay tuned to the channel after, um, because Dot Pone is one of the game photographer's newest streamers, and he'll be coming on and doing mm -hmm. some stuff. So there you go. He's <laughs> excellent, Dot. I am a huge fan of your stuff. It's next level. Nice. Uh, so that, you know, all this talk leads me to 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 one thing that I want to I want to talk about today, and that's. A lot of people are saying, go out there and find your passion. Go out there. You can do it. And, um, and I've been reading this book uh, by Liz B Bonham? Bonham? Bohannon. Bohannon. Liz Bohannon. Um, and there's a concept in there about you will never find your passion. If you're going out looking for your passion, you'll never find it. It is up to you to build your passion. And you are embodying that for me. You're an inspiration personally for me because I know that, um, you know, there have been things that you've been aspiring to, weren't able to do, but you're still out there saying, I, this, is, this is what I do. This is who I am. And it's just amazing to, to, for the, it's a, uh, bleh, bleh, bleh. professional streaming and talk show host <laughs> hi how you doing i'm bad gamer pleasure to meet you uh but no it's it's just so inspiring to see and to be part of even if i'm just in if i'm in the stands and cheering rah 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 sis, boom bah, and i've got a big mags 316 sign uh <laughs> um so tell us about building that passion and lady snipe shot jump in here because i'm dominating this conversation and cindy would have my head and so would james <laughs> no no letting you guys letting you guys have it but yes hmm. please continue um i would say now living in this social media age it's a lot easier to kind of get your passion going because it's now a lot easier to get yourself seen, I guess, for what your passion is. Because nowadays, everything is a thing. <laughs> you know, if you're like, if you're into making uh, crochet, there's a huge niche for that. If you're into making hot dogs into artwork, like I'm sure you will find your audience. Wait, what? That's a and thing. And it's beautiful. <laughs> I, it probably Somebody is. do a search. It probably Somebody is. do a search. I would not be surprised. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure it is. But, I mean, it's beautiful in a way that anyone who wants to do anything, you can find your audience. And it's also daunting because it suddenly then becomes the only way to get yourself out there. Like, I definitely found myself focusing so much energy on social media and like oh well if I do this artwork I'll get this many likes I'll get this many views blah 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 and it just became about that instead of becoming about I want to do the art that I want to do and if people like it cool if not whatever I did it for myself not just for likes and follows so I don't know I think finding your passion also has to do with do you do it for yourself or do you do it just so it'll get you noticed and I think that's kind of a, a slippery slope mm -hmm. nowadays that it's those lines are more and more blurred um, so I would say for finding your passion it's uh, the thing you think about when you're kind of in uh, life's little transitions you know when you're in the shower or when you're waiting for the bus or when you're in line at the bank like what is it where does your mind go what do you think about before you go to sleep what are the things that you know calm you down and interest you so I think that's kind of where you can find your passion or even bridging things you know like oh I love cooking but I also <laughs> love video games how do I how do I bridge these how do I make this a thing oh I'll just go on my favorite games and start cooking the food from the game sure I'll just do that why not and people will love it oh my goodness um Mm -hmm. So here's the thing, and I giggled through your wonderful uh, uh, this <laughs> conversation there because 
Rachel sent me something on Facebook. Famous paintings recreated with <laughs> hot dogs. <laughs> yep. I, there you go. Not surprised at all. <laughs> That's yep. awesome. Oh my goodness. <laughs> All right. Oh, so we have some comments in the <laughs> chat here. Um, let's see here. Uh, Kendall says, I know someone who draws on plastic spoons. Um, yeah. Oh, good. Tanti good says, them. I know some people who spend all their time taking screenshots and games. <laughs> well, yeah. there's, I'm sure there's a niche. There's a niche out there yeah. somewhere. Um, <laughs> let's see. It's harder to start out. Hold on. Uh, okay, we take a uh, dot says we take photos of video games. Every single person that I know finds that super weird. Um, I actually here's the thing: we were at <laughs> this amusement park. It's a local little amusement park, and uh, we sat down at uh, at this bench waiting for my son to go on this ride. And um, the guy we were sitting next to, we were we were. Uh, we were joking about this guy who was walking around with his shirt off, mainly because he was super cut and we weren't. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> and uh, so he, uh, so so we, I introduced myself and he, and he's like, so what do you? I was I was taking notes about uh, on leadership because I had just been to that leadership conference and working on how I'm going to implement that in different parts of my life, especially here for the gametographers. Um, and uh, what do you write? He said, what do you write notes on? I told him, I was like, because I do this thing called gametography. And he was like, and you, you can see on his face, no clue. And uh, so I explained it to him. And he was like, that's really neat. I would never have, and I, of course I have my phone so I could show him. He was like, I never knew you could do that. I, you know, I know nothing about video games, but that is fantastic. And I showed him other people's work, and he was dumbfounded. Uh, and he was like, that's really cool. Um, so much so that they were leaving, and they gave us their tickets to get on rides. They were like, hey, you know, you know, good luck with your leadership and with your gametography. I, I just want to give you some tickets for rides because I think it's really neat with what you're doing. I'm like hey, so we have extra tickets for next time. Yeah, <laughs> so game photography gets you tickets on for rides at amusement parks. Does that mean that is wait, a guarantee? Wait, 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 wait. Does that mean I got paid for my work? <laughs> hey, <laughs> you got you. You got a good treat. Yeah. Well, and I he didn't even get any shots. He just saw them. So yeah. <laughs> um. <laughs> okay, so it's harder to... Uh, Taunty says, it's harder to start out now that there are better artists to compare yourself to absolutely everywhere. Easy to get discouraged. Yes. Yes, absolutely. And I am guilty of that for sure. And there's a huge kind of jealousy complex out, especially with social media. You know, you see someone getting famous for artwork that you're like, I could do that in my sleep. How is that even a thing? It's so easy, yet people are going crazy yeah. for it. And yeah, that'll happen. And that's just kind of a part of life. But you have to think, like, what is it about what they're doing that I like? And what are the steps I could take to get myself there? I mean, maybe you do have to do some art that you feel is maybe a teeny bit below you just to get some more coverage just to get yourself out there a bit more and then blow them away with what you can actually do but yeah. you know I guarantee someone out there is jealous of you as well going I am so jealous of their skills I'm jealous of how they use this like you I mean I know it, it's weird but it can be a teeny bit of an ego boost just tell yourself someone out there is thinking about my life or what I'm doing and they wish that they had this too, so I can't take it for granted. Yeah, yeah. that's totally understandable. Oh. We were actually my friend. No, 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 no. Sorry. Go, you go, you go, you go, you go. I was just gonna say, my friend was, my friends and I were talking about that kind of last night. We were talking about this girl who created a business uh, doing tattoos. It's called. Uh, she calls them ugly tattoos. Uh, she has another word for them, but she's Brazilian, and people love her ugly tattoos and she can't draw like and she she capitalizes on the fact that she can't draw and people know that she can't draw 
and yet she has a tattoo business. <laughs> and it's, yeah. it's really neat. It's yeah. like kind of crazy. It's bonkers. And you're like, why didn't I think of that? Why, why didn't I do that? Why didn't I draw like, the Disney princesses as hot dogs? <laughs> <laughs> okay. There you go. Now you have to do it, Maggie. <laughs> no, now you have no. to do it. <laughs> oh, no. Remember how we were talking? You remember started. how we were talking about? Um, I wanted you to do so, uh, do commissions for me. I think I found what I wanted you to do. Oh, <laughs> oh God. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god that's great now you're gonna have many projects from them <laughs> oh goodness <laughs> we'll, we'll just call it maggie's hot dog yes project. maggie's hot dog stand oh, oh, yeah, oh my gosh okay yeah and I'm sure I can capitalize on me like eating them all seductively after as well. <laughs> it's a niche. Totally different crowd. <laughs> yeah. All right. Uh, so in the chat, Tonti says, "When I was a teenager, it was hard to find art of dragons. Now it's everywhere." Uh, Kendall says, "I spend most of my time making 3D artwork of game characters that are only on screen for 10 minutes max." That's right. Oh. Kendall did, mm. uh, for those of you who have played Detroit Become Human, um, she's done some Ralph work. Like, it looks like Ralph. And she made him. Uh, it, it's exactly like Ralph. Oh, it's so good. Um, uh, <laughs> Tonti says, what are you talking about, VG? We get paid millions of dollars for game photography. Lucky's here. What's up, Lucky? Um. Oh, oh, and Kendall loves the bad tattoos. <laughs> All right. Um. So, guys, yeah. So, just to put it in perspective, I and that's what I had to do for myself, because um, I was like, am I building my passion? You know, uh, you know, or you know, am I out there looking for it? Um, just to put this in perspective for you guys. In 2015, I was doing, I was, I did, I was volunteering for Res TV and doing Disney Infinity picks. Uh, that's figure picks and in-game picks. Um, and then in 2016, we did the occasional. Uh, we did an, Cindy and I started doing uh, an occasional game photography stream. Um, and then 2017, we started a regular stream. Uh, 2017, we also started a regular stream with a guest. Our first guest, who stuck around, and I'm glad she did. <laughs> That's Lady Slimeshot. Funny, funny, man. I don't know. It's, 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 uh, stuck around. We know. have a three. We had a three-person show, uh, and then three-person show with a guest. Uh, we started in 2018, uh, uh, no, 2017, we started our Twitter, IG, and Facebook. 2018, we got a custom intro, thanks to Disney Gamer. Uh, thanks, Reese, I really appreciate it. Um, in 2018, we started a deeper talk and topics in, uh, in our shows. Uh, 2019, we started our Discord community. Uh our patreon our store um guys we st this all started because one person said to another hey do you mind if i start an instagram for you and they said yes so that's building your passion you might not be where you want to be for your game photography Maybe you want to be that you want game photography to be your career. We're we're not you know we're not quite there, but some of you are making it. Some of you are out there doing it. There's 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 possibilities. When I was interning at Rockstar, another position that was an intern position was taking in-game screenshots to use for promotional mm -hmm. things. So that's yep. a job. Mm -hmm. So I mean, it's. It's a possibility, guys. Um, I, I, I'm just excited for that. I'm excited to see where us as a community are going. Um, we have... Uh, uh, let's see, hold on here. Uh, it's crazy that the world will do it for you if you allow it. Absolutely. Um, 
And sometimes you realize that what you wanted is maybe a bit different, you know? You're really trying for this one thing, and then another opportunity comes up, and it could be everything you wanted just in a different package that you didn't exactly. expect. Totally. Laying down some life. Some life. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Um, I just want to I want to put it out there that we as the game photographers um, we are here to support you as game photographers we're not uh, we're not necessarily out here just to say hey look at our stuff um, or or here's yeah. here's other people's stuff and that's part of it um, but we wanted to make sure that you understand where we sit in our community um and that's why this week uh this past week we put out we the leadership uh team and i uh came together and we have our game photographers mission um and that's to provide a supportive and loving community that fills the need for a place of belonging to the unique creatives known as visual photographers uh, virtual photographers, visual photographers. <laughs> um, we're here for you. We want to know what we can do to help support you. I'm talking to some influential folks in our, in our community and in the virtual photography community in general. Um, some, some game photographers that have ideas about what support for them looks like um and we'd l I'd love to hear from you about that so you can actually uh contact us on our twitter you can dm us on our twitter uh which is uh game photographers um and we also have an email address and i'm trying to remember if it's game photographers at gmail.com or the game photographers at gmail.com I don't remember. Holy crap. Rach, do you remember? <laughs> oh my gosh. I hate you. <laughs> this is really bad. This is how much we use it, but we want to start we Sarah. want to start using it. Um so here, I'm I'm looking it up. It's so bad. It's so because the it's the reason we just use our Twitter and our Instagram more than anything. Yeah. Uh but uh, so I. Yeah, I feel like I use social media outlets yeah. more than anything for most but of if, my stuff. But if you need long format, just contact us on Twitter and I'll get you the real address. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Um, so th thanks, Kendall. Uh, yeah, email. Yes, absolutely. Yeah. Kendall says email also seems to be dying at a rapid pace. Uh, uh, you can also contact us on our Discord um, if you are interested in game photography or just the nerddom of what we do. Go ahead and do it. We actually have people on there that they don't do game photography, um, and, but they like to look at our at images and they like to be part of the discussion. Um, and we have people in there that started game photography because of the Discord. So I'm looking at you, Drew. <laughs> uh, so there's that. Um, so question of the week. Join us in the Discord. Question of the week. How are you building your passion? Because you're not going to be able to go out and find it. It's not sitting there waiting for you to just find it. You're going to have to build it. Hey, Dot Pwn That's such a good <laughs> So, Rachel, how are you building your passion? Um, By just kind of chiseling away at doing the things that I love to do and trying to just plan and take one step at a time. It's I'm learning that I can't do everything at once. There's a lot of things that I have on, on, on my project plate and not doing everything at once is, you know, I got to remember that I, I can't do that. I can't physically possibly do that, but just taking one step at a time doing, 
you know, one little thing towards a goal every day. Justin always tells me that he's like, babe, live one day at a time, one uh, day at a time, so one project at a time. Small, <laughs> attainable goals. Yeah. So, but yeah, that's, I mean, that's what I'm trying to do. And, you know, as me as an artist and a creator, I just want to do everything. I'm just like, I, I just want to do this and I want to do this and I'm so excited about this. And then I get tired and get stressed out and I'm like, why do I have so much on my plate? And he's like, because you put it on there. <laughs> it's like you can't eat. It's like your eyes are bigger than your stomach. But, um, but yeah, so that's, that's me. So. Mags, we know outwardly, we see how you're building your passion. What's another way that you're building your passion? Um, I think another way to build your passion is to expand your passion. Like right now I've been trying to get more into cooking and really utilizing my kitchen and seeing things in a restaurant that I like and being like, well, why can't I make that too? I'm going to give it a shot. And I was really bad when I started to try and learn how to be a cook, you know, I could barely make popcorn, I could barely make cereal. <laughs> so it's just like starting from square one. And as an adult who then wants to learn these new crafts and new passions, like you kind of have to start at square one and work your way up. But it's a fun challenge and it gives me the same kind of satisfaction as, you know, if someone likes my artwork, if someone likes the food that I make. So I think having your passion if you really pigeonhole yourself into just one thing then you don't learn and you don't grow but I would just say try something else you know if you weren't this type of artist what type of artist would you want to be and then play around with that and explore what that means for yourself Nice. so I would say just be picking up other things you know studying outside the radius of the art you're interested in it does nothing but benefit you so yeah give it a uh, shot dig it dig it dig it oh snap that's fantastic <laughs> uh kendall says i was always told to take life one step at a time because no matter what happens you're always moving forward absolutely all right guys i want to thank our guest miss maggie rose mags where can people find you and what can you do oh, thanks. for, like, what, 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 can, we want to support you. What can we do to help support you? Um, uh, just keep being yourself. <laughs> <laughs> um, here, let me see. I'll, here we go. I'll put up my, uh, Twitter uh, and my Instagram It, it chat, doesn't work. But I'm on Twitter yeah. Oh, links. really? Okay. Well, I'm on Twitter as Mags Rose Studio, uh, M A G G Z, and I'm on Instagram at Maggie dot Rose dot Studio. Don't go to the regular Maggie Rose Studio because she does a lot of nudes, and my mom got <laughs> Um So it's Maggie dot Rose dot Studio. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's great. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, check me out there. And I'm always open for collaborations, commissions, whatever. I do, I consider myself the everything artist. If you want a painting, if you want a drawing, whatever. Uh, so many ideas. Thanks. <laughs> All right. Um, uh, just put at. Yeah, there you go. That's, that's the thing. Yeah, there you go. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right. Hey, Rach, where can people find you? Uh, Lady Snipeshot on Twitter and Instagram. Where I'm always at. So. Guys, I am Bad Gamer Elite. You can find me uh, on Twitter, Instagram, Flickr, uh, the Disney Channel. Uh, <laughs> you can't find me on the Disney Channel. Uh, but maybe one day. Maybe one day. There we go. Alright, guys. Maybe one day. I can see you there. <laughs> I can see you there. Well, thanks everybody for hanging out. Bad Gamers Unite. Game Photographers, keep on snapping. Peace. <laughs>